Hello everyone, hope you're doing well. You can use private browsing, clear cookies, do all the privacy stuff and your ISP can still see a big clue about where you're going, your DNS lookups. Today I'm showing you how to turn on encrypted DNS in your browser, no router settings, no apps, no pain. Um, after this video you will know what DNS is leaking, how to turn on encrypted DNS in Chrome, Edge and Firefox and how to confirm it's actually working. Let's get into it. And what this does not do. Uh, encrypted DNS helps hide your domain lookups from your ISP. It does not hide everything you do online. If you want your ISP to see less overall then that's VPN territory and will be covered in a separate video. Uh, you know, today's win is to stop broadcasting your DNS requests. What your ISP can see. Uh, when you type an address into the address bar, your device asks DNS, hey, what's the address for this site? So if you're using your ISP's DNS, the default in a lot of homes, your ISP can often see which domains you looked up, when you looked them up, and how often. Um, Encrypted DNS reduces ISP visibility into domain lookups, but your ISP may still see the IP address you connected to, how much data you use and when, so this isn't invisibility, but it does stop oversharing. Encrypted DNS in your browser. Uh, what we're enabling is DNS over HTTPS, DOH. And why it works, instead of DNS being readable like a postcard, it's encrypted like normal web traffic. And the best part is that you can enable it per browser right now. So first up we have Google Chrome. And we, to do this we are going to go up to the three dots in the top right hand corner. And then from here scroll down to settings. And then from here you want to go over to privacy and security at the left hand side and then down to security and from here scroll down and you should see you secure DNS we're going to enable this and then you want to select a provider now uh, I'm going to go with Cloudflare because it's good privacy and they're fast you could also go with Google uh, it's reliable and widely supported um, you know just pick one that you trust so I'm going to select Cloudflare and that's it. It's just one toggle and that's the whole upgrade. Next we have Microsoft Edge. So uh, to do this open up Microsoft Edge and go up to the three dots uh, in the top right hand corner and go down to settings and on the left hand side select privacy search and services. Then you want to go down to security and from here we will go down and we can see use secure DNS. So we're going to enable this and use current service provider. Well no I want to choose a service provider so I'm going to select this and enter custom provider and I am going to go with Cloudflare again. And that is uh, all the settings you need to change in Edge. Alright and then we've got Firefox. So to do it in Firefox open up your Firefox browser go up to the three lines in the top right hand corner and go down to settings over to privacy and security and then way down at the bottom we will see DNS over HTTPS. Uh, we want to select here max protection and by default it selects Cloudflare which is perfect for me and then if you go back up here you can see the status is active and the provider is Cloudflare. Now if uh, just a quick note if you're a Safari user uh, Safari doesn't expose uh, the same simple one toggle UI in the same way. So if you tell me in the comments below uh, if you're using uh, iPhone uh, or a Mac I'll give you the easiest path for your setup. Okay, so now just a quick test. Um, I've gone to dnsleaktest.com and I've also uh, set my DNS settings back to the default in Firefox. And I'm just going to select a standard test. And this is what will come back if we didn't change anything. Uh, so as you can see, it's showing A1 Hervatska Mobile. And I am going to now uh, enable the DNS settings. 
and then do a rescan. So go down to settings, privacy and security, and scroll all the way down to the bottom. And we can see enable DNS over HTTPS. So I'm going to put max protection again. Then I'm going to go back to the DNS leak test and I'm going to reload the page and click resend. And now it should show Cloudflare uh, as our ISP. And there you have it. Everything's up and running now. So uh, that's a, one way you can do a quick test. Uh, if the result uh, never changes, then something is overriding your DNS, which could usually be a VPN, company policy, or device level settings. And some common issues, if it says uh, that your secure DNS is on, but tests don't change, um, you know, check if you've got a VPN enabled. VPNs often take over DNS, so turn it off and retest. Uh, also, work in school laptops, admin policies can enforce DNS settings. And multiple browsers, you enabled it in Chrome, but you're testing in Edge. Um, that can happen a lot. And some websites load weird. Uh, it's uh, rare, but it is possible. So if that happens, try switching provider from Cloudflare to Google or Google to Cloudflare or set automatic secure DNS if your browser offers it. And that's it. You've just enabled encrypted DNS in your browser. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, uh, comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.